so again, I know I've like I've said like I like this game. Like I've I've said it so many times, but I just it has good staying power for me. And it being shorter than a game like Dragon Age Inquisition, by far, kind of gives it replay value even more because I play I I just like playing it. Sometimes a game being shorter can be beneficial. Sometimes that padding that's put in just kind of makes it drag on and doesn't uh just because it takes longer doesn't mean it's more fun. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 120 some cubic meters of it at a million bits a pop. Take this. You've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm going to buy a gold toilet to shit in. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, and I didn't bring either of my persuade people with me. Oh, I'm stupid. Might have to reload. Oh, good luck with that. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. Uh, yeah, do you always send, like, your newbies to do stuff like this? I had to go to a monster-infested town. I guess you're just one of the lucky ones. Look on the bright side. You just started, and you're already on the path to a promotion. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Catherine says the factory needs some repairs before it's back to working order. But at least it's under our control. Hey. When you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any strange looks, did they? Huh? No, why? I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know. Are are, are you are you are you doing good? You doing good? I've got a lot on my mind, but it's nothing that concerns you. At least, not yet. I have another job lined up. Assuming you're still interested in work, you're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? Oh, sure. That sounds like a real easy job. This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Um, how did a research station become salvage? I mean, it does seem weird that they would just like leave a a a, a working uh, station, you know, just out in there, out in the space. Right now, it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit. Perfectly legal. Well, no, you know what? You know what? Just, you know what? Cool. I, I would love to go to a uh, space station. Why not? Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Why is she so paranoid? Sure, understood. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right, and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Oop. I admire your grit, but some wounds don't heal. And I say that as someone who's plugged a few severed aortas. I didn't mean to talk to her, but okay. What are you talking about? Ginger chops and a pencil pusher. By all accounts, Sanjar and Graham have been at each other's throats for years. Digging into their personal history isn't going to change anything. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the two, MSI and the Iconoclast, might mean well, but if they keep bickering and fighting with each other, they're going to mess things up. Well, they've kept it going this long, haven't they? And anyway, we've got problems of our own. Yeah, there's a reason why you're bringing this up randomly, right? I try to save my captain a headache when I can. Usually ends up saving me one too. Oh, look at how perceptive I am. Maybe she's been through this before with someone. Hey, I'm the doctor here. That means I'm supposed to be the one nosing into your business. Anyway, I can take a hint. 
You stay out of mine, and I'll stay out of yours. Anything else? No, no, we're good. Oh, uh, and before I go any further, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> I, I don't want to... Actually, how far back does this go? Let's find out. I'm not going to miss out on a payday because I forgot to bring my persuader with me. Don't forget about the research. Oh. Well, what's the one before that? And, well, it's like four minutes. You know what? I normally don't do this when I'm streaming, but whatever. It's that's what. Yeah, this is fine. This is one of those moments where I'll, I'll serene Ellie, but I will bring Felix. Thank you. This is one of those moments where you have one of those like rare 100 uh, persuade things or skill check, and I have the ability to do it. I'm not going to waste it. But you know what? Let's get this out of the way. I'm going to talk to both of them. I haven't talked to them in a bit. Watch your step on Monarch. It's not just the monster. All right. We already heard all this. Do, 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 do. Uh, nip, 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 nip. Perception, perception, and done. Felix, you got anything? Yeah, boss. Oh. <laughs> I actually, I think um, I read that there was an update coming to this too, just to fix a couple glitches. They're already working on fixing the few glitches in the game. That's nice. I mean, I barely had any to begin with. I. Personally, didn't really have any. No game-breaking ones anyway. Little ones, maybe. But I'm definitely looking forward to DLC. I'm not sure how you would do a sequel to this. Like, if it would, if the story would carry over, it would it be like Fallout, where the sequel is. It's a, it's it's still a sequel, but it's like in a different area that has nothing to do with this. Either way, I'll take it. That gas is going to. Be there we go. You know what? Fuck it. Enjoy yourself. I invest in the happiness of my workers, and you deserve a bigger cut. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of the... And we've already heard all this. Hey. Uh, no. Uh, are you okay? You're gonna... This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Hmm. In the right direction. Understood. Just okay. Don't forget about the reason. Now, good. There we go. And guess what? Next mission we're doing. We're going to a space station. Any opportunity to unlock a new area to go, I'll do it. And playing, playing this game. Not only have I wanted to play Mass Effect more now, I want to play Dragon Age too. Unfortunately. I will not be playing Dragon Age until after Mass Effect series is done, so it's going to be a while. God, look at all the stuff that I have. Get out of here. Nope, 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 nope. I'm definitely keeping that thing. Uh, Science plus three. Where? I think Vicar Max had a thing like that. Science plus three, 34. Yep, this one's better. So, bye. Not worth a lot, so bye. Uh, also not worth a lot. Rule of thumb, not worth a lot, break it down. Oh yeah, Ellie, you know what? Just because this is the case, I'm going to give you this. And I'm going to switch you back over to mixed. And medium. I kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to like customize them, but I like the idea of them being able to use whatever they want. So I'm going to have everyone pretty much be medium mixed. Medium mixed. Uh, medium mixed. And I have to give her a better melee weapon. Which, by the way, I just got this. Wait. I'm on Felix. Thought I was on the Yoka. I was on the Yoka. There you go. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's going to be fun to spread around that void. Uh, Parvati, I think I had, uh, nope, nope. It's good. Although I think I'm going to have him be long. Yeah. 
That makes more sense. His long range weapon is better, I think. All right, to the space station. I am over encumbered. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find. Maybe I'll find a working vending machine on the space station. Let's go. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Remember that you are not. All right, I want to bring. This isn't a. This is an abandoned space station. I doubt I need persuade, but lockpick would be handy. So I'm going to take Felix and Sam. I feel like those two would get along. How big is this place? Oh, not that big at all. Please check battery levels before initiating an extended sanitization session. Hmm. A uh, shipping label. Warning, contents may have shifted in transit. Warranty is void of any and all detonated mines regardless of cause. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying mines is a fireable offense. Mines are not a company authorized decoration, pet, or sporting equipment. Mines are not suitable for ingestion. Mines are not eligible for any recycling promotion. Do not uh, purposely stand, sit, or recline on mines. Mines are not your friend. UDL claims no liability for any actions taken or not taken by mines. UDL recognizes that you could have chosen any remote explosive provider. Your commitment guarantees production quality and safety for many shipments to come. Thank you and have a pleasant detonation. I like how it says guarantees product quality and safety. Quality and safety, not guaranteed. I'm going to burn them all down. It's going to happen. Oh, I'm all oh, sealed. So I'm in this big room here. How do I get in there? I think that's the only, looks to be the only way in there. Huh. Oh, look at that. Muting volume now. Thank you, Sam. And I'm in. Blank UDL key card. Could be useful. Uh, error. Unable to access memory cartridge. Terminal power below 5%. So it sounds like I'm going to have to restore power before I can use that. And it's still sealed. So if I want to use this, I'm going to have to go back around. And hey, safe. Nothing really great. Oh well. Hmm, where does this go? Good. Ooh, a rifle. I always, whenever I see those rifles, I think it's awesome, but I, I have plenty of them. Get out of here. Oh, I forgot to read that too. I, I'm really hoping I might find a random, uh, a random, uh, vending machine in this thing somewhere. Now, is this going to break my legs? Oh, okay. Hey, Sam. What? I think Felix has jumped off. Oh, there you are. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Wait, why didn't I set that off? That was weird. Uh, permanent concussion. N no, thank you. I don't think I would rather. I don't think I would like to live with a permanent concussion. Oh, this place is bigger than I thought it was. Huh. Nope. Nope, sealed. How'd you get over here, Sam? Sealed, sealed. See, I might have to turn on the power before all these all these open. Okay, I can't go in there yet, so backtrack time.
And let's see. I need to stop doing that. I think it's like a delayed reaction on my hands. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's a mine. That hurt me. I always stand just a little too close. Identification cartridge. Good. Means when the power comes back on, then I have to use it. Then uh I can conceal myself from the robots. I am still concussed. But hey, it's not supernova. That means I don't have to go back and sleep on my ship. Alright. I think I've thoroughly cleared this place out. Oh. I missed. I missed a stationary target. I'm awesome. Oh, here we go. This looks like something. Uh, modified generator mode normal. Power back on. Ooh, maintenance logs. Uh, critical issue one, non-critical two. Critical issue number one. A toilet in the maintenance barracks does not flush. Replacement part ordered. Wow, 1,243 days ago. Non-critical. Why do I get the feeling that the non-critical are going to be more critical than the critical? Sensors indicate uh, Altavita gas is leaking from storage tanks. Altavita gas is toxic to humans. <sighs> Admin override. Priority set to non-critical. Management does not utilize the Altavita gas tank storage room. Uh-huh. Issue two. Sensors detect that the new laboratory scent air freshener is running low. Repair toilet. The existing uh, work order was opened 991 days ago and was last accessed 991 days ago. Oh, I see you have activated your holographic shroud, Captain. Excellent. Becoming indistinguishable from an authentic UDL trooper will prove advantageous to your current situation. Uh, well, what's going on? Why did you feel the need to talk to me right now? A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. I... Wait, who are you? No one told me we had security forces deployed on your station already. Okay, that's pretty cool. If I hadn't gotten that key card, the ID card, and used the shroud... She would immediately have seen that I wasn't one of her people. But now she does. So now she's wondering, like, hey, what, 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 what's one of our guys doing there? And because I'm good at talking, I can do whatever I want. Uh, my team has already handled the issue, soldier. Your squad can leave. Roger that. Just as a precaution, I'm sure you won't mind if we turn on the station security systems. Can't be too careful. We hate to leave this location undefended after a close call with outlaws. Um... About that. Um, actually, I already reactivated them. Your readouts must be on delay. Hmm. That should have been fixed by now. As you say, we'll just head out then. Safe travel, soldier. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. Go, boss. You've got a real fine way with words. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Unlike in real life. All right, so the power's back on, which means I can... I wonder if I can go anywhere. Okay. Interesting. Go this way. Nope. We live a weapon first. There you go. Uh, messages. From a Kimball I to a Redacted. Of course morale is... Oh, no, read this first. You asked that I reached out. I'm doing so. Is something amiss with the team? How's their morale? Their commitment to the project? Of course morale is low. You gave those PhD... Uh, these tanks of uh, nucleine scrambling gas and no worn bodies to test it on. What did you think would happen? They can test on each other all day they want. All, why did I say all day? What is wrong with my like reading comprehension nowadays? They can test on each other all they want, but no one lays a hand on my squad. 
I'm installing safeguards in case anyone challenges that decree. Hmm. All right. Once upon a time, there was a... Oh, boy, what is this? Once upon a time, there was a princess who trained to be a soldier. While the other princesses got jobs at canneries and counting houses, the soldier... Counting houses? The soldier squinted down her sights at the firing range and made sure she hit the target every time. Then one day, a not very nice man offered her a job at an ivory tower, far, far away from the kingdom. The princess could provide uh, for her ailing father, her lovely child, and her goofball husband, but she would have to stay locked in the tower until the doctors could find a way out. Once she thought better of her choices, the princess applied for early dismissal, but no one listened. The end. I love you, Angelica. Maybe you can write me a better ending? Give your father a hug and tell him I'm sorry for missing another birthday. So she volunteered to be tested on, I guess. Hmm. Oh. There's a lot of dots in there. Hello, robot. Can't go in there. All right, then. Uh, back the way I came. Since I have turned the power on, I think I can now go down here. Or not. Oh, wait, this is where I turned the power on. What was the way that I went before? Hmm. That leads into where I was. Yep. You'd think it'd be impossible to get lost in a place this small. <laughs> nope. I can do it. Proximity analysis. External fill sterilization measures hmm. employed. Caution. Contact Ow. with electrical currents can be lethal to customers. Well, good thing I can hack this. Well, yeah. Well, it's a, hey, lockpicking is basically hacking a door. Can I turn off the uh what the random electrified floor? Uh UDL Electro Floor 3000 is online. Turn it off. Thank you. Mama Bear. Kimball came by asking if any of the docs uh had been around. I told her what I know. It's been quiet, just ask Alpha. She walked away she walked off with a spring in her step. Weird. Then she uh, requisitioned a UDL Electro Floor 2000 for my checkpoint and a crate of concussion mines. Yet she didn't believe me. Is she preparing for war? She's acting like she knows something the rest of us don't. Seems especially uncomfortable around the docks. Huh. That'd be where that crate of mines came from. Hey, yay, the floor is not killing me. Now where am I? No. Stop slowing down time. Alive in there. Uh, so someone's in it is like suspended animation again. Not gonna mess with that just yet. Current subject alive, unstable. Subject condition is dire. Make sure resuscitation devices are on hand upon arrival. Uh, please hold on, Claire. We almost had it this time. I swear we'll bring you around. So they're experimenting on each other. But it sounds like they didn't have a choice. Subject will need extensive nucleine resequencing for any chance of viable extraction. I'm so sorry it ended up like this, James. We will come back for you and fix this, I swear it. Hmm. Oh, there's someone else up there. There's one there, one there, one there. Oh, 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 actually, I can do that. Let me put on my uh, my thinking hat for this, and there we go. Oh, good, I unlocked a weird room that has a bathroom in it. Oh, oh, they have a nice view, though. You get to see out in space. 
put my tap back on. Wait. Oh, it's because I had the shroud on. This is what I look like with the shroud on. Okay. Nothing great. All right. Oh, I could have unlocked it with 65 hack. I'll do it for the XP. Uh, further the uh, chimeric sciences via the targeted modification of human nuclei using strands obtained from halcyon native fauna. Like raptodons. Come to my attention that a culture of distrust has soured relations between the space station's research staff and security personnel. Many of you have submitted requests for early dismissal. To the research staff, the importance of your work supersedes any interpersonal conflict. To our pers security personnel, there will be no early dismissal. You will also notice that your employee contracts has no set end date. Oh. We can enjoy discussion of morale and its impact on success, uh, success matrix once the question of humanity's place in the Halcyon colony is answered. In the meantime, get back to work. Okay. Uh, we almost lost Charlie. It was a runaway resequencing shift. Once it started, it kept going, spreading beyond the isolated tissue to a full-blown systematic infiltration. It said it was like every organ was itchy. Ugh. I told him we'd ice him, freeze him until we could work out how to reverse what uh, had gone wrong. Every time Laura walked by me, she rubbed my shoulders and asked me to take a different reading. They didn't t need to be taken. It was just to keep my mind occupied. He's been checking up on me every hour since. We had to put Claire on ice today. She and the others drew straws. Claire lost. That sucks. The change was slower this time. At first, the resequence stayed within the normal parameters, and then it spread again, just like with Charlie. Tomorrow, I'm re um, reaching out to my handler directly. I need some answers. I wonder how Guthrie's doing. I hear sim uh, symphony music from under his door. Um, Miss Long is being entered by Dr. Fall. I had to prescribe Dr. Sh uh Chartrand, enough sedatives to knock out a primal. Yesterday morning, Dr. Gunthree and I drew straws to decide which of us would be the next test subject. He pulled the short one. That's, oh man, that's not a fun situation. It's like, who do we experiment on this time? Well, draw straws. Oof. The new, uh, no new developments. After all of our sacrifices, it still feels that we're miles away from a breakthrough. Ava hasn't forgotten herself. Ava hasn't forgiven herself for the losses. Maybe some time away from the station will clear her mind. The board confirmed receipt of my report and transmitted our recall notice. We're just awaiting transport. I wish we could take some time away from the project to clear our heads, but we're not even close to that point. Huh. Is anyone listening on this frequency? Oh, good. Redacted. Who is this? I'm the, I'm the project league on 1084. I wanted... Station 1084, you have orders to maintain wire... Uh, Wireless silence until a mission end state is achieved. Password. Antediluvian. <laughs> what can I do for you, Doctor? The board told me that would uh, they would deliver my qu uh, queries about our transcription problem on the Cornelius Vanderbilt. Where are we with that? I'm afraid I can't provide any updated uh, status at this time, Doctor. The assault cruisers should have arrived on Earth by now. My query was addressed to the Chimerical... Research Department at Georgia de Hevesy Institute in Budapest. One of my associates will reach out when we have an update. Uh, when? Aren't you in contact with the assault cruiser? What happened out there? Uh, Station 1084. Misuse of this channel is a fireable offense, as in abusing your executive override, saving case of emergencies. Oh, hey, Em. Hello. Just playing some more Outer Worlds. As you can see, I got my robot friend with me. Alright, now what am I doing? Oh, I'm in this room again. Well, I guess that's all that's here. So the experiments that were being done in that one place were also being done here. It sounds like the people doing the experiments genuinely care about each other. But, of course, the board doesn't care at all. Um, 
Eventually, I might do a Supernova playthrough on stream. There is only one toilet on the ship. But for now, I'm just doing hard. Okay. Captain. Too many games to stream. I still got to go back to Mass Effect and Final Fantasy X. I, I mean, I want to, definitely. Too many games to play. Then I got to do Dragon Age. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay. I'm looking forward to Dragon Age. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. It's been years since I played uh, Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2. Who to bring with me? Who to bring with me? Well, I could bring Mr. Robot again. Oh, thanks for the host. Yay. I still haven't fixed that where the text is too big. I need to I need to redo some of my uh graphic stuff. Well, hey, when I get my logo finished in about two weeks, uh that I commissioned, I can spruce up the channel and with some other stuff, maybe. You know, I'm gonna bring Parvani and Sam. Sam! And we're back to the sulfur pit. And the question is, what am I... Oh, well. Let's see. Yeah, I gave I gave him that on purpose. <laughs> I like his pink armor. Now, I know there were missions here I haven't finished yet. Can't do that yet. I can do that. You know what? Let's do that. I'm going to the Iconoclast hideout. <laughs> I want one of their hats. I still They still haven't given me one of their hats. Are you going to do, do some lurking? All right. Been thinking on my dad today. Do you miss Mr. Hawthorne, Sam? While Sam units are mass-produced for economical purposes, the overall quantity is limited compared to other auto-mechanical product lines. Because we understand our clientele is exclusive and discerning. I guess you've probably never met him, huh? Well, that's okay. You got us. We'll be your dad now. Well, well said, Parvati. We'll be his dad I'm really hoping once I get these missions done with this guy, with these guys, they'll give me one of their hats. I need to add it to my collection of um of uh moonhead uh goggles and eye patch. Welcome back. You find anything out there? Uh yeah, I found the data cartridge. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes. So, yeah... Um, back when this place was like being evacuated by the corporate guys, the MSI guys stayed and this used to be like a stronghold for them. And someone gave these pirate guys the code for the, like the door and they got in and killed most of the people. And now we just found out that the leader of the iconoclast, Graham is the one who did it. So I think we're going to have to do some good old, old fashioned revenge here in a second. But yeah, he caused the attack. Yeah, he did. He really did. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Yeah, this group, Graham's their leader, but he's a little too preachy and rather have a printing press to make pamphlets and have food for his people. Zora is the more normal one. You know what I mean? Like, she she got me to get food and medicine. See, I like her. Graham's kind of full of himself. And apparently was responsible for a bunch, a bunch of people dying, too. So, there's that. And now that I've done that... Did I not finish that mission? You gotta be kidding me. Wow. I can... <laughs> 
I left the space station without finishing the mission. Well, let's go back to the, the space station. Some crew members are causing a dis And here we go. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. All right. So how about I bring... I don't think I have to do anything but hit a thing, so I can just bring whoever I want. I'll bring Ellie and... Max. They're literally going to be my party for like five minutes at most. Probably not even that. Question is, how did I get this? How did I... Oh, that's right. I forgot to interact with that. I was putting that off till the end. And my game crashed. My game crashed. That is the first time I have ever had the game crash. All right, let me start it again. Interesting. I've never had that happen on PC or Xbox. Let's hope that isn't a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, whenever this game loads in for the first time, it's a little it's a little on the laggy side. Like it's I kind of have to walk around a bit to get it to uh, like, you know, uh calm down. Okay. And I'm going to bring Max and Ellie, okay. Please don't crash again. I'll give it a few seconds, let it catch up. I don't want to, like, go through it so fast that it has a problem loading. Oh, no, it crashed again. Well, this might be a problem. Might be a problem. Huh. Well... I'm going to try it one more time with a different teammate, different teammates. I have doubt that will actually, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to go somewhere and come back. Have like another load screen happen and then go back. It'd be really bad if I couldn't get back in there. I'm going to go somewhere else. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No I'm going to leave the ship. I'm going to choose different people. Oh. So, M, you got here just in time to uh, watch my game crash twice. I'm going to run around here a little bit and see if the game also crashes. Let's take a tour of the town. Actually, I do need to talk to somebody. I, I doubt it'll do anything, but... Oh, the data on that cartridge was even more damning than I could have hoped. And to have something on UDL of all the corporations. You've given us quite the advantage. Anyway, what can I do for you? I'm good. Well, it's not crashing. So, back to the ship. If it crashes one more time, I might just have to come back and maybe try to fix it later. It's unfortunate because doing, finishing this mission uh, unlocks one more sublight mission afterwards. So if I can't do this, I can't do that either. Which would suck, because I was planning on streaming for like another hour at least. I'm going to save it.
Okay. What if I like? What if, what if I sneak up on it? Think about sneak up on it. It won't. Uh, it won't crash. It won't crash. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, look at that! I made it in. It worked. I snuck up on the. I snuck up on the crash. Now, there we go. I basically made it think it's a sublight station now. Job done. We can go home to the ship, right? Yep. I've been missing Ada fierce. Oh. Don't we know Chartrain from Cascadia? Yes. Basically, on Monarch in Cascadia, they were doing experiments, trying to like mess with people's genetics for some reason, like to, to incorporate like animals. I don't know why. And when they were uh, when they were taken off of Monarch, the only people that were actually evacuated, the others were just left to die. They went to the space station. So that's the connection. Back to Groundbreaker. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. And then why not? And hey, when I get to the next planet, I get to help Parvati with her, uh, her, her mission. Which, again, I talked about this earlier. It's... I love it. Like, it's the fact that her mission is just, like, she wants to go out on a date with somebody. And your mission is to go get her food and clothing to go on the date. All right. Hey, sublight, I'm back. Oh, well, it's doing that again. Let me hit the button. Sometimes the elevators don't load right. So you kind of have to just, like, mess with it. There it goes. Hey, guys. Hey, Sam. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. Oh. I could intimidate... I think that would make me lose... a uh, reputation. Not gonna do that. Uh, the base did have some scientists. They might be still be alive. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? Yeah, UDL gunship came by, but I uh, talked my way out of it. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. We might have figured that out already. Oh, I'm not perceptive enough. <laughs> um, I'm listening. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. Ooh, sounds secret. Ooh. Uh, you have my interest. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Uh, I'm guessing you have a thought. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? If you can't tell, this woman is a little unhinged. Doesn't mean she's wrong, but... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I have an open mind. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. You know, I'm kind of imagining... Her doing like that that meme hand gesture thing the guy from Ancient Aliens does. Aliens. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. Your crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. 
I assume you have questions. A few. If we're going to see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. I mean, yeah, when you say aliens, like, what, what, what do you mean? Like, this, this is, as far as I know in this world, aliens don't exist. Humanity's, like, never met. I, I guess you could call, like, the creatures on other planets kind of aliens, but, like, no, like, no intelligent life. So. Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nucleon with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. Uh, I mean, personally, I haven't seen any evidence of aliens. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. You have a spreadsheet that somehow involves aliens. Okay. Um, I did, just tell me what has to be done. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. Now I need you to put a bullet through her skull. This, okay, this got, okay, this got very violent in a hurry. Uh, why does she need to die? She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in sissy pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. Okay, first off, ew. And second, we read the emails and stuff. She, op she apparently cared about her people. But yeah, when did when did Sublight get so principled? Don't you guys just like scavenge stuff? It's cute that you think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Oh, a lot of options here. Uh, <laughs> The lab I passed through didn't seem that evil. I mean, it didn't. And hey, XP. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. God, she's just so far down the rabbit hole. I'm surprised she's not wearing a tinfoil hat. I do... Okay, where does she fit into your alien conspiracy, then? We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks. How much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm not really big into the whole murder thing. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. This is your initiation into a future with sublight. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. Oh, I want to be part of sublight. They're cool. But then I have to kill someone. <laughs> oh. What do I get for joining up? Well, there's your usual fee. What else do you want? A promotion? It's yours. Even better. I'll owe you one. I'm gonna take the job. But it doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna murder someone. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. And, again, an interesting about this game is you can kill whoever you want. Like, any NPC in this game, I'm pretty sure you can kill. I could kill her right now. 
And the game does a really good job of not blocking off uh, main plots. Like, if you kill the first guy, Reed, from Emerald Vale in Edgewater, you would think, like, before he gives you the code to the plant, it's like, oh, I can't get in the plant anymore. How can I do, how can I go on with the story? But after you kill him, you get access to a room behind him, and in there you get the code. I, I just think it's really cool in a game like where you can kill any NPC, but still continue the story by other, by other methods. Oh, trust me, I'm definitely going to play through this game once, where I just kill everybody. So, until I get to Byzantium, uh, I need to finish up Monarch, and I've done most of the stuff already. Crew members, Ellie and Max are engaged. I wanted to get Monarch done before this stream was over, and it looks like I might be able to. We're now in orbit above Stella Bay, Captain. First off, how much money do I have? Eh, eh, not bad. First off, repair my gun. Then... Got to upgrade my hat, which didn't do anything. Uh, good enough. Now, since I'm going back to Monarch, I need to take Neoka. Which means, once again, I have to choose between Felix and Parvati. I will go with Felix right now. Felix the lovable idiot. Hey, boss. I've been thinking. You've been thinking? I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. Makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. Yeah, I'm assuming this is about Graham uh, Bryant. At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? Hmm. Yeah, he is. He kind of is. Yeah, he's he's garbage. That's putting it kindly, boss. Graham's worse than trash. He's a traitor. You never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? I literally just talked about having a playthrough where I did this. But th that is not this character. So no, I would not do that. That is true. He wasn't the one who killed them. But he did allow it. But no, I'll, I'll just, I'm not going to get into semantics. I'm just going to say never. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. Yeah. Now, what do I have left to do? Not a lot. This is on Byzantium. Uh, This is here. And this is on Byzantium. So, pretty much just the main mission and the one side quest. Oh, yeah. Felix doesn't have his perks yet. Well, I'll take Persuade. I will take... Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to do Companion Ability Damage. And... Extra Damage after using his ability. Yeah. So I got to get here. Why is it telling me to go over here, though? Uh, The Broker Reside, Double Peak... Follow the running river. Oh, I think it's actually telling me like which way to go, I think. Which means I'm going to go here and work my way over. And I'll go here. Mmm, diet toothpaste. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. God, this entire world is just full of stupid corporate jingles. Oh, hey, hey, look at that. Um, that. I somehow didn't notice them. Ooh, what's this?
There's a random cave here? Okay. I don't remember if I found this before. Where am I? You know, I don't think I should go in here yet. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave. I think that's Nyoka's mission later, I think. So I have to work my way up there. Best thing to do would be just go to the road and stick with it. It's never the fastest way to get anywhere when you follow a road in a game or a path, but it, it'll get you there. Look at Skyrim. There's a reason why they call it Skyriming, is jumping up mountains. Uh, so turn that way when I can. Oop, bugs. Ma'am, I know you find bugs kind of cute. Uh, I'm going to kill them. Oh, I made him cower. That's why he was running away. Yeah. Yep, now dead bugs. Fun. Good thing I got my I squished them. On. They're actually the same as my ass kicking boots. I can't afford another pair. Oh. Kill all the bugs. No remorse. Get him, Nyoka. She tried to she tried to, to talk it. crap and then she got stabbed by the bug. Oh, look at that. I do wish there was a bit I do wish there was more space exploration in this game. Like you could fly around the ship like Normandy. A lot of the games don't have that. Oh, that is a man. Oh, that is a queen. See, Nioka's uh, ability is pretty cool looking. Felix's is lame as hell. <sighs> he just has a drop kick. That doesn't seem to do a lot of damage. I don't know. I'm sad. To, it's sad to say, but I think Felix might be the uh, the Jacob of this game. <laughs> He's not that bad, but and here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Hey, you, get over oh here. no! Yeah, the How the hell did marauders navigate? If you're living up in a tower on a place called Devil's Peak, you might be some type of serial villain. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still standing. Every time I set foot inside, I half expect the tower to fall over. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Because me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take kindly to marauders. Uh... No. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. Uh, what are you doing up here? I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. Uh, where are they? See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. Yeah, they're doing a really good job, aren't they? They're supposed to be guarding this for marauders, and there are literally marauders all over it. That's what happens when you get, like, mercenaries to do uh, guard duty. They're only in it for the money. Now I th think it's this way? Yeah. Hello, new friends. <laughs> a 
Look at that guy's mustache. Good, good look. And can, can you see out of those? Huh. How'd you get up here? Through the caves? Uh, what caves? Good answer. I wasn't looking forward to gut shotting you. See, the thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs. And our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerge from the tunnel. Allow me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. All right. First things first. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm going to need to know what your role in your organization is. Why is everything in this world some kind of stupid contract or corporate stuff? All right, I'll go along with it. Um, you can consider me the CEO of a company of one. A lean but efficient corporate structure. I'm impressed. Still, I gotta wonder. What are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume. Yeah, I'm here to speak with an information broker named Hiram. Our guidelines allow us some leeway in identifying threats to our client. Your unorthodox profession makes me think we ought to remove you from the premises permanently. However, the terms of our contract specifically targets marauders, iconoclasts, MSI operatives, and anyone deemed to hobo-like in appearance. And? As you don't appear to fit any of those categories, I'm afraid I can't quite make a call on you. Don't we, as a standing policy, provide an alternative to termination via financial restitution? Addy, our chief financial officer, could confirm. But I'm betting if you're willing to compensate us for our lost time and productivity due to this arbitration, you could pass. Uh, I'm so tired of the corporate stuff. Uh, can we just shoot stuff? Do we have to go through this? Uh, can't we all just get along for free? I'm not paying you shit. Uh, we're on the same side here. I guess we might could. There's something I like about you. Can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I'd rather have you with us than against us. All right. Lance, unless you have a final point of contention to make, I'd say he's clear to go. Nah, I'll sign the clearance form. Just, I must advise you to steer clear of Devil's Peak Station. It's teeming with marauders. Anything else you need? <laughs> That's a good point. Um, how'd the station end up overrun by marauders if you were supposed to be guarding it? Trying to say we didn't do our job? Yes. I'll have you know, our contract was to stop any marauders coming from the caves. Didn't say nothing about the ones taking the mountain path. We'll simply clear them out later, once we've got the go-ahead from Berthold. Uh, who? I'm guessing that's your boss. That's right. Berthold Fox is our boss man. Founder, president, and CEO. Bertie went down into the caves on a hunt for marauders, give or take, six hours ago. He's a hands-on type. Likes to handle the tougher tasks himself. Although, he should have been back. Going on six hours now. I'd ask you to check the caves for him, but... Then we'd have to kill you when you crawl back out. Okay. Are you going to kill him when he comes out of the cave too? Space, no. The contract doesn't target C3s. How do we enforce it otherwise? I might cold-blooded, ain't he, Donald? Oh, a loophole. Make me an honorary member and you don't have to kill me either. Done. Use this. Signal's locked to Birdie's tracker. Should lead you right to him. Or his body. Whatever you find. Bring him back to us, okay? Uh, who is your client? I'm really hoping it's the it's the broker guy, so we can all be friends. The guy calls himself the information broker. Like he's starring one of those fancy broadcast productions the station puts out. My guess is, he brokers information. Don, I don't care if the guy's name is the architect himself, so long as we get paid well... And paid on time. 
No dispute here. All right, I'll be going now. So I have a new side quest. And then I'll be able to do... Like, this This planet takes so long to complete. No. Oh, there's no door? Crap. I want to steal that weapon that has a name. Mine. Uh, level 15. The one that I have is better than that. Anything else I can steal? Ooh. I mean, I'm an honorary member of their group, right? This isn't really stealing. This is you know, borrowing from the for the job. I can look easy. Nice. Stuff. I'm just taking all their stuff. Wow, nice work. Robbing them blind. Sell, 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 sell. Sell, 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 <laughs> sell everything. Okay. All right, guys. So again, just got a new side quest. Which is down this way, I think. Yeah, it's up, up this way. That's up. Opposite of down. This was the cave I went in before. So it's it's for this mission. Oh, look, now this place looks cool. The question is, where am I going? Um... Captain. Well, those aren't much of a threat. Oh, mines. Incoming. I missed them both. Oh, there's actually people in here. Ooh. Ooh, stuff. I like stuff. You know, it's, it's... Even if I don't need this stuff, I obviously don't. Like, I have good equipment. I can't help but pick it up. It's like a Skyrim game where you pick up all the cups and, t and plates and stuff. Addictive. Just grabbing everything. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Crap. Welp. Being over encumbered, um, well, I'm gonna have to just destroy some stuff, which I'm fine with. There we go. What's just not worth that much? That's not worth much. That's not worth much. That. Forty-four, three. Thirty-one, meh. Eh. That's probably good for now. 106, 66. I have to remember to go back to a town, like, right as soon as I'm done with this, though. And I'd be very surprised if my mic didn't pick that up. Although I have it set to not pick up stuff below a certain amount. My stomach just yelled at me and said, eat. But I want to finish this planet. <laughs> So, I will eat when I'm done. You help here so we both don't die. Flamethrower. Again, I'm because I. This is the problem with having inventory so full. It's like every oh, that's a corrosive. It's only level twelve though, but that's interesting. You hardly ever find a corrosive long range weapon. Although it's not. It means. Like, medium short range. It's a shotgun, basically. I kind of want to keep that. Maybe. I'll probably just tear it down, probably. Oh, boy. I 
Things did not go well in here. You didn't see me. At least she didn't somehow. All right, you know what? Attack! Purple. <laughs> so stupid looking. And look at that. After just that, those attacks, we already killed it. Over encumbered again. <laughs> I have two. Hello. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's a torso. And that'd be your legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Berthold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking, please don't see me, oh la, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. I have to say, I love this guy's design. That helmet, it makes me think of like a 1950s like sci-fi serial, the way he looks. But yeah, uh, your your buddy sent me to find you. Means it's still holding the post then. Good. You might head on back. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way. Once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Nice and morbid. All right. Uh, unless there's nothing else to really grab in here. Oh. You know what? I'm not going to take that. It'll weigh me down. Nope, that's it. I don't think I can fast travel from in here. Nope. So I'm going to go back to a town. I'm going to sell all my stuff. I'm going to turn in that mission. And then we're going to hopefully do the uh, the final mission here. At least one of the final ones. Oh, did I pass it? Yeah, I passed it. There we are. Stomach, shut up. All right. So I want to come back here, which I can just fast travel to. So I'm going to go to MSI because they love me. I'm going to sell my stuff there. Oh, to be fair, everyone loves me. I'm so likable. Felix, I overheard you listening to Tossball. You a fan? Am I a fan, she asks. I've been a fan since the Rangers won the Tripacale crown. Right. Explain something to me. What the hell is the point of the six-pack? Oh, it's easy. See, the six-pack protects the fourth-pack from the eighth-pack. You want to think of the six-pack as your twelfth line of defense, yeah? Unless, and this is important, the game's in the third half. In that case, a good six-pack knows how to pivot toward defense in case the other team runs the field. <sighs> I'm even more confused now. I'm just going to turn my brain off and try to enjoy it. Also the slogan of the Anticleo Darlings. Mm. Miyoka, you're looking my fuck. All sales. All right, buy all my stuff. Now, do I have anything to sell that wasn't in there? Yep. I kind of want to try to keep this, but it's only level 12. I'm never going to use it. That was good. What's my inventory now? 76. Awesome. Okay. Time to go turn in that mission I just did. And then move on with the story. The main story. Which I haven't touched in like two streams. Alright, so I have to go back down here. And there's the boss man. Who, again, I like, I love the way he looks. Hey, Mana Queen Slayer. 
Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. I might have already found something I liked of yours. But no, um, <clears throat> no, I'll take that key. Uh, yeah, I haven't stolen everything already at all. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, why are you guys... Well, I already know that. A group of mercs to label themselves as a corporate entity? That, 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 okay, that is a little weird. I know this universe works on, like, everyone's, up, up, you know, a bureaucrat kind of thing, but... The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights, not entailed to individuals. I lead the C3s. Addy covers our payroll and expenditures. Lance handles the human capital. And Donald is our charming public face. Our system works. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hire. Okay, then. Bye. Hey, let me just go in here and get that stuff that you promised me. Uh, da, 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 yep, yep, it's all here. Uh, well, oh, okay, it's mine now. All right. Time for some uh, some main missions. And I think one more side mission for Nioka while talking to this guy. I wonder if Hiram's home. <laughs> just kidding. Guy never sets foot outside. All right, here we go. Hey, hey. It's not fair to jump dodge me. You get down here so I can hit you. Oh, uh, that was his leg. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Look, look how cool she looks running around with a scythe. Oh, my armor and my gun. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, luckily I have four weapons. I'm still on fire. Okay. Oh. Everyone all right? Just exploded in purple radiation. Let's go, guys. We're finally going to get uh, the talk to the uh, information broker. That's a lot of red dots. Really? Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. <laughs> can't. We'll see about that. That was terrible. I think I landed two bullets. Oh, there's some brutal deaths in this game. You get electrocuted to death. You get burned to death. Radiation to death. Guess we keep. Guess I'm being radiated. Look for another way up. Why am I taking all his useless stuff? Because I can't. Ooh. I love picking some locks. Elite trooper gear, eh? Oh, it's one of those again. I keep I always forget what that's called. Terrible. Uh what else we got? Stun baton, some bullets in a drawer. Money. Ooh. Environmental controls installation and key card. Barb. New environmental controls terminal is now installed and running upstairs. Congratulations. You message corporate about it. You, uh, you get to manage it. Consider this your official notice to hide its access key card deep in the bottom of a drawer somewhere, preferably within the archives or in one of the station's other popular sections. Because I sure as hell uh, will not allow our station's efficiency score to plummet due to a pointless safety feature. Do, don't even think about it, testing the system out. The emergency sirens will make your ears bleed, and if you accidentally trigger the fire suppression system, it can suck the ear out of the room faster than the station's last performance review. Hmm, something about s alert system, huh? You out there, whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Oh. Come here and talk to me face 
I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of Purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. Yeah, I need to talk to an information broker. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. Uh, okay, Broker. Well, he already... He, what's in it for me? I need his information. Plus, he already said he's going to pay me. Uh, how many marauders are we talking about? Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job. Permanently. Well, we wouldn't want that, would we? Let's do it. So I got to backtrack to the elevator. Ah, here we go. I just gotta take out some marauders. No problem. I've been slaughtering them uh, by the dozens already. Hey, guys. And they killed the rest. <laughs> I keep forgetting how strong my uh, companions are. Really need a shotgun for rooms like this. Let's see. Tempted to get rid of my sniper rifle. Because if you haven't seen it, this thing has such a ridiculous zoom to it. Look at that. Unless I'm out in the open, it's pretty much useless. Oh, don't want to go there yet. Okay. What we got here? Inclement weather warning. Uh, 72 hours. Uh, 72 hours. Chance of thunderstorms and severe thunderstorms, including lightning strikes, forecast across the mountain region. Uh, from a Ramsey to the information broker. Works protocols. As I stated in my prior four messages, this is simply there is simply no cause for alarm. I swear to you, Hiram, the situation's under control. Uh, what you call a near emergency, I would consider a non-event. Yes, a high energy transmission was used to, uh, for too lengthy a period of time. And yes, the generators cannot safely support that activity. Yes and yes, they could have been damaged under load. But the point remains, nothing happened. We caught the issue in time. The engineers involved were reprimanded. I swear on my mama's grave it will not happen again. Now please cease contacting me for, detail, for daily updates on the status of the generators. Thank you. Toilets. What in the black hole were you thinking, Val? At some point, space efficiency becomes the uh, inverse to time efficiency, and one negates the other. What I mean is, how, uh, how am I to do my morning business when the toilets are directly facing the open showers? You might like watching fellows scrub their jiggle, jigglies. Oh boy. While you take a steaming dump, but I don't. Well, this guy's nice. Sincerely, thanks for the peep show. Not really. That was sarcasm. On the contrary, Theo, not only is it a spatially efficient design, but it also encourages simultaneous users to hurry their business. Don't like, uh, don't like, don't look, or speed it up and move on. So, they're, oh, they're doing the public bathroom idea. 
where no one hates, well, everyone hates being in a public bathroom, so they hurry up. After all, the faster you're back to the station, the happier we will all be. Warmest regards, Val. Postscript. You will take too many bathroom breaks and you know it. Hey, I like to be comfortable in the bathroom, all right? And as we've seen in this game, there are so many, like, communal bathroom setups, it's kind of unnerving. Get all my free stuff that I don't need. Okay. He is blind. And now he's crippled. Oh, and now he's dead. He's got assassinated on the ground. Yeah, boss. Okay, didn't mean to talk to you. Cool. I'm trying to reload my gun. And I think we're, uh, we are here. Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get the door. You hurry on in. We can just, uh, look around a little bit here. Oh, the, hey, look. This isn't stealing. Oh, neither is this. Oh, look, none of this is stealing. Okay. Let me just, uh, take all your stuff. Uh, I think I'm good now. Okay. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why Mioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Uh... Yeah, I'm looking for a bit of information, and you're the you're the broker of, that, of information. Ah, yes. Our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch, which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Have you seen Doc Wells? The guy's ancient. You take any more time and he's liable to croak. I take offense to that. Look, okay. I was delayed by MSI and the Iconoclasts. The idiots were scrambling all transmissions to override each other's broadcasts. But as you've shut them down, I'm back in business. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Okay, well, that is a good point. Phineas doesn't seem to trust people, uh, hence the bulletproof glass he hides behind when he talks to me. Uh, how'd, you, how'd, you, how'd you two meet each other? You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Mioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose. Oh. Oh, apologies. You meant... Right. Yes. I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. Alright, how do I fix this thing? It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. So, I just hit a button. All right. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Hooray, level up. Which I really don't need. <laughs> uh, you know what? More science. And, oh, I have four. That means, well, doesn't mean anything, does it? I'll put more, I'll put more into this. Now, as far as perks go, do I want more carrying capacity? Eh, 250 is a good amount. Uh, yeah, this one. Your next attack after killing an enemy is a guaranteed crit. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, 
A safe. Great work. Uh, nothing really great. Because level 21, yeah, this is the same as the one I had. Uh, get in there. Level 19, I think I have one of those already. Okay. Oh, Neely. And money. Oh, boy. Uh, it's no ongoing transmissions remain for broadcast. Okay. Again, broadcasting. I'm just pressing buttons at this point. Uh, let's see. Dare I say the future is looking bright. Indeed, I can run a full uh, gamut of operations without ever leaving the, sanct uh, bleh, the sanctuary of the broadcasting room. Sanjar and Graham are living up to their promises that do not interfere with initial broadcast. The deal is holding, and I, I believe I can make a life here. Well, that's nice. Had a near miss the other day. Nearly ended up with the board on my, on my trail. Uh, we will mark that trail firmly in the failure category. Uh, trial. What did I say? Well, I said trail and trial. That makes sense. One must experiment, however, to ascertain the best method. I have found thus far the most reliable method for evading detection within the limited frequency of Monarch's off-world transmissions involves duplicating regular news broadcasts on several unused frequencies. My information gathering associates know to filter out the sounds in the vocal range, in turn isolating the embedded data. Sneaky way of doing it. And the board's authorities are none the wiser. Playing hazard was never uh, has never been so thrilling, nor high stakes. <laughs> Pox at all, those imbecilic children. In the hatred for each other, Sanjar and Graham have oversaturated my key bands. They'll take down each other, all right, and me along with them. I should have never invited them to play. What will I do about it? What to do indeed? So yeah, they were fine at first, and then they kind of like had like a war with each other over the over the broadcasts, and it screwed him over. But I already took care of that by making nice with them, so. Unlike my Supernova playthrough where I simply just uh, killed both leaders to get them to stop. Hey, it's a viable strategy. Ooh, grenade launcher. Level 19, eh. Alright, here we go. The cool thing here is if you didn't, if you went here first and didn't take care of the other two groups already, the Iconoclast and MSI, they would have a conversation on this back and forth between the three of them. Since I already did it, it doesn't happen. Nice little touch. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm leaving. I won't bother you again. No. As Neoka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? Uh. Ooh, nice shockwave. I mean, of course, I'm going to go investigate that. Did you see that? Uh, who, yeah, what ship was that? Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh, well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar! What are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? <laughs> Group hug. Not without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? 
That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Yeah, let's let's talk about this. Ah, I see you learn nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I am more than finished with you lot. Alright, and I think I can actually go back in. I think Nioka has a side quest with the broker. And we're up, there's the door. So you can see where this is going. You have the MSI on one side and the Iconoclast on the other. If I, you know, I have to decide who to side with, pretty much. So much for peace and quiet. Would it kill the universe to cut me some slack? Uh, Nioka needs a favor. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called this friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Well, good. She's your friend and she's in need. You're the only one that can help us. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wadsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to shit, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra, too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. Um, so about that ship that just crashed. Yes, the one that crashed. I saw it on the security feed. A bit grainy, but an invigorating watch all the same. What about it? Uh, yeah, who do you think I should give the module to? I'm kind of wondering his opinion. I fear it's a sad day when you've resorted to asking me for advice. Sanjar's about as deadly as a spilled can of lead paint. If anyone's to aim a cannon at my face, I'd prefer it be him. But he'd never have the guts to defend Monarch if it came down to it. Graham's as likely to bomb Monarch as he is to protect it, down to the last dying man, woman, and sister pig. As I'm not the one with access to the artillery cannon, I reckon the decision's ultimately up to you. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a polite way of saying to, uh, to leave, isn't it? I'm not sure anyone's accused me of being polite before. Besides, I know better by now than to think you'd go... I'm going. I'm getting a headache behind my left temple. What could be causing it? The glare from the terminal screen? Or something else? Yep, yeah, bye. Give my regards to Phineas. So yeah, I have to decide uh, who to give the thing to. So that's going to be fun. Also, that opened up the rest of Neoka's mission, or at least part of it. Which I will do after I finish Monarch. Maybe not on this stream, but eventually. So, what do we got here? It is, oh, it's over there. Welp, uh, this is going to be a bit of a walk. Eh, not really, I guess. This is a little closer. Oh, I'm so close to finishing Monarch. Oh, okay. Frame rate, please. I got some questions I've been meaning to ask you about being a hunter and all. Felix, are you reading off your hand again? Yep. So, uh, first question. Before you kill your prey, do you ever say any snappy one-liner? Hey, I remember Cascadia from that one episode of Terror on Monarch. Crawling with monsters, it was. Oh, my weapon's a little damaged. Some of 
I, I like Nioka's ability. It's cool looking, but I still think Felix has the stupidest looking ability in the game. Yeah. Oh, kill that thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just alerted a lot of stuff. Okay. And it's all dead. Ah, uh, collector swarm. No, oh, I'm going to miss Monarch and its mushroom trees and, you know. Oh, you know what? I'm going to leave him alone. You, you can live. Well, this one might have to die. Yep, this one's got to die. Okay, well, I tried. Oh, that's a Mega Raptodon. Uh, I can do that too. Ooh, stuff. Oh, you're fine. Stop yelling. So this planet was, uh, had like a barricade around it of ships. A black, well, normal person would call that a blockade. Um, and this is one of them. It crashed for some reason. Now, knowing corporations, it was probably due to some decision-making process. I'll just wait out here. Yeah, uh, me too. You have fun, Captain. Which again, going through this game has made me my hatred of the corporations just go higher and get, get worse and worse. Oh, and my. Connection has ceased. <sighs> okay, I think I'm back up now. That was weird. My internet spiked for a second. Here, let me make sure that it's actually still doing okay. Okay, yeah, I'm good. I think. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Okay, I just want to make sure I refreshed the page to see if it was doing okay. Okay, that was weird. It was just like a lag spike. All right, then. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Captain Matsu's captain's key is active, but his life signs are no longer detected on the bridge. Logging flight hours will not present for duty as a violation of UDL policy. Of course. You know, when they find out their people are dead, what's the first thing they do as a corporation? Make sure they're clocked out, dock their pay, find them, whatever. All right, so I got his key card. Cool. Uh, run diagnostics. Uh, the MK4's gunships. The MK4 gunships, operation parameters. Op God, I can't read right now. Operational parameters have exceeded acceptable damage ranges. The cost of any repairs necessary at your nearest UDL repair facility will be averaged amongst the crew. Yeah, that too. The ship crashes. Who knows how many people are dead or alive? And it's like, oh, the crew has to pay for it. View logs. CE's. There we go. CE's saying something about uh, spare regulator bypass something something. Uh, Chikuchu? Chik I'm not even I'm guessing this person's name. Uh, I'm, t I'm turning this thing uh, towards the ground breaker, firing up the engines and retiring. Better to be arrested than lose power and drift into, out into space. I just hope this old bird can handle one last trip. I don't think it did. How in, the, how in this law-forsaken colony is it, uh, is it so impossible to requisition parts? My chief engineer is barking at me to order yet another damn thing, and I can't even get a response from corporate. Oops. Another day, another ship lands on Terra 1, and we can't shoot him down. Uh, that makes... I've lost count. What's the point of being out here if we can't get some backup? So because of their many issues that weren't being solved, they didn't shoot at me when I landed. Hello, my name's Jen. I'm the chief engineer 
around this gunship, and I'd like to let the record show that our captain is a total fucking hullhead. I told him, again and again, that without fixing our regulators, spinning up the engines are going to blow through our coils, and we'll go flying off in a completely random direction. Well, here we are. Thinking we'll hit soil in... Uh, about 30 seconds. This is your chief engineer signing off for what is probably the last time. It's a shame you can't see this middle finger I'm holding up, because I'm doing it as hard as I can. I, I mean, you gotta respect that a little bit. She's gonna die in 30 seconds, and she's just like, yep, screw these people. I hate them. So, yep, yeah, due to corporate incompetence and money saving, uh, they're, they're dead. They didn't want to fix their ship, and they're dead. I'm going to burn this corporation down. <laughs> like every time something like this happens, it's just more and more like I want to destroy the board. Ooh. All right, I got the module. And a broken leg. Thanks. Hey guys, I'm back. Now, oh, I'm not going to kill them just so I can fast travel. Like, sorry, I didn't want to kill you. Oh, he's running. Nope, he's back. So uh, once I kill off this wildlife some more. Oh, his head's gone. His, uh, okay, he's in pieces. All right, stop the goo. Stop the goo. <laughs> okay. Now... MSI is a corporation, technically, but they have reforms. They actually have, like, de decent pay and hours and weekends and stuff. I, I like them. They're fine. And they want to go back to the board and change it from within. I'm all for that. I want to destroy the board. It doesn't mean you have to go in and kill everybody. When you're out exploring, it trail rations, right? No, that stuff will turn your stomach purple. What? Oh, but I love trail rations. Rizzo's makes them with extra sissy bits. You ought to try something without so many additives. Something pure. Vodka comes to mind. All right, then. Uh, but yeah, they want to change it from within. Doesn't mean I have to destroy the board physically. I can destroy them from within. That's fine. The Iconoclasts are okay, but we know their leader is garbage and got a bunch of people killed. I don't really don't trust him. So if I have to give it to somebody, I mean, this is a better bet. See what options I got. If the iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the iconoclasts. That brings up another point. These guys will use the module to defend their base. The iconoclasts will use it to attack this base. I kind of don't like that. Yeah, well, I mean, let's get a little back, back, you know, little uh, information on this. What do you need the targeting module for? Well, because the module controls the weapon systems. So you mean the gunship weapon systems that aren't here right now? Because once we mount them on Stellar Bay's walls, no Marauder or Raptodon will ever be a threat to us again. Gotta hand it to you, Sanjar. That ain't a bad plan. It's absolutely foolproof. Stellar Bay will be as secure as any other settlement in Halcyon. I mean, yeah, I, I like the fact that they're just trying to defend instead of attack. The point is, this weapon system would be a powerful advantage, and we can't risk the Iconoclast getting it. Yeah, well, is UDL just going to like let you have this, or are they going to come back and claim it? The board's own salvage and recovery clause 32B would say differently. And they won't dare challenge us over this. Not after the data you found on their experiments here. That's a good point. We found they were doing illegal experiments here, so they're not going to mess with us. Uh, yeah, just don't ask me to bring the cannons back as well. Don't worry. We'll send an engineering team for those later. We'll have to disconnect them from the rest of the ship. Of course, they'll be useless without that targeting module, which is why it's critical that you retrieve it. Which makes sense that I would get that first. Because even if that kind of class get there and get some of the weapons, they're useless to them. 
These weapons sound pretty powerful. Which is also why we can't let the Iconoclast get them. Right, enough about the gunship. Good, because we haven't a moment to lose. Hmm. How about a truce? I mean, wouldn't it be in everyone's best interest to stop trying to attack each other potentially when we have like giant monsters outside? They're all mad. And what's more, they left us. I don't see any way for us to work together. <laughs> uh, Sanjar, I've read your reviews from the, the company. Uh, you, you can't do this alone. Uh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantapillar, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. Okay then. Uh, yeah, you're you're like where his review said he's good with details, but he's not good at seeing the big picture. You too. He has a point, sir, and it's not all bad. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. Uh, fair. But what about his second in command, Zora, who I like? She's a tough person, but I like her. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. Well, it just so happens I have the review from that plant that I went to. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually... Very qualified. If it weren't for her, I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms. Well, cool. Now I gotta go talk to the Iconoclast. Oh, I never got one of their hats. Do you have one, you have one of their hats for sale? Hey. Thank no. Oh, it's, I got one of those like 1950s space hats. It, I'll get a hat later, I guess. I've got a few more questions for you. They're, they're real simple. Don't think about them too much. All right. Do you ever lured out your prey by mimicking the cry of a mantasaur? No, monarch prey ain't that smart. You can lure them to you by firing blindly into the air. Is it true that Raptodons can't see you if you stand perfectly still? Yes. Next time we run into one, I want to see you practicing. You ever fired off two guns at the same time? Once. Backflipped while doing it, too. That sprat never saw it coming. A sprat. Hey, sprat. Oh, hey, Zora. Captain. We should chat. Graham's got the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just guilt-ridden. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I keep going over and over it in my head. And the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is we depose him. Ho oh, ho. He kind of read my mind there. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Yeah, it is what's best. Graham is ruining this. Look at his priorities. He wants pamphlets over food. Hey, Graham. Um, we're just here to talk Captain, to you. Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. Yeah, about that. Um, uh, uh, you need to go. Uh, Zora is going to be in charge now. What? Zora? You're running the Iconoclast into the ground, and I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... 
You've brought me as far as you can down the eternal path. It's time to step down. The troops. Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? Yeah, I would. Yeah, she has the best interests at heart. It's already been proven that she actually cares and you just kind of have your like head in the clouds. I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconic class. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But I know the truth now, Graham. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. Yeah. Yeah, all those deaths are on him. He didn't kill them, but he opened the door for him. People that did. It, and it's not going to help. You're never going to get rid of that. I've spent years atoning for my sins. I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Oh, boy. No, 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 we don't. <laughs> No, it's fine. We'll just uh, talk this out like normal people. You can just have a vacation, you know, permanent vacation. Go, go away. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. Uh oh. Looks Bye. Like All right. Well, uh, Graham, buddy. Well then, uh, sorry for your loss, Zora. I'm just going to go check on his pulse real quick. And uh, He has a weapon part on him. That's it. Oh, come on. Well, Captain, here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts, and it never feels right. But this time, it's especially wrong. You've got the void help me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you have it? Yes, but before I give it to you, I want you to work with Sanjar. I've thought about it, but I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. Oh, oh I can't do the perception check. I, I can, I can inspiration, I can intelligent, or I can persuade. But yeah, persuades my thing. He has corporate resources you could use to spread the message. You know, Captain, I never thought about that. Maybe he could be taught the eternal truth. Spread the message from within the corporations. All right. If he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. I've literally already spoken to him. He's agreed to meet. Well, then. I've got to prepare a few just-in-case measures. But when you're ready, let's meet at the old OSI church outside Stellar Bay. Sounds good. Which is right there. So I'm going to fast travel right outside the city. And we're going to go meet in the church. Did Not you know he drink all nope. my Spectrum Red? Oh, was that yours? I thought it was their new Felix line. Whoops. I know it. Yoka. Damn it, I was saving that. Aw, poor Felix. But yeah, this is a nice operation. Sanjar has the business sense. He's trying to get back on the board. And then 
with this alliance, uh, Zora can tell him like the whole like philosophist truth thing, spread it to the board, maybe. Good, good in the long run. If they don't kill each other. Hey, thanks for coming. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. <laughs> That's the spirit. Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. If anybody can get these two shaking hands, it's you, boss. And my connection's going down again. Okay, I think I'm back. Sanja. Make sure, let me see what the delay is real quick. Oh, come on, I'm in the middle of a conversation, I can't stop it. Come on, give me like, give me like another five minutes of connection internet and I'll be good. Come on, come on, I'm in the middle of a conversation, I can't save it. I'm going to give it a little bit to see if it uh, fixes itself. Come on. No. Uh oh. I think it's back. Okay, I think I'm back now. Sorry about that. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm stopping in a few minutes once I get this done. Luckily, because my internet connection seems to be getting a little weird. So I'm going to finish this, I'm gonna finish this conversation up, and then I'll call it a stream real quick before that happens again. Stellar Bay's got food and walls. And my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. Yeah, what if the Iconoclast support your supply lines? Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. Uh, I'm not saying live outside. Just help out in the wilderness once in a while. I mean, you guys know the terrain. You're used to it way more than they are. Suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. Well, I'll be damned. You two can work together. Maybe there's some hope for this place after all. Truly a compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. Graham was a murderous fiend. And I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. Yeah, I don't think Sanjar knew. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something, but you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. Yeah, except uh, we found evidence. It sucks. I like him, Graham and Sanja were friends. And... I mean, when you're friends with someone for that long, you know, when it's like, oh, he's responsible for like a million deaths. And it's like, no, he's not. Yeah, here's the proof. But that means I had no idea. I swear. Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that. Mr. Nandi says he don't know a thing. I say we take his word for it. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, ease up a little bit, Zora. I... Okay, okay. You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. You know, I felt the same way years ago. When he first left, there was something magnetic about him that let you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay, if you're willing to house and supply some of us, 
I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. All right. We formed an alliance. As am I. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure lowering already. Thanks for coming out, Sanjar. I, uh, guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. Never doubted you for a minute, boss. Yeah, Master Diplomat. All right. Now, I believe the next thing is, yeah, I have to go talk to Phineas. But that means this planet's done. The rest that I have isn't on this planet. This planet is, I think, fully done. And before my stream decides to uh, conk out on me again, and it's been about four hours, I'm going to call the stream here. Um, I went a little longer because I will not be streaming tomorrow. I have prior plans that I have to take care of, which means my next turn will be Tuesday at 7. But let's see. Let me take a look here. So yeah, I, I, well, before I close out, I'm going to save it. There we go. And I, once again, I'll be streaming Outer Worlds. It should only take about one more week to finish this. So that'll be nice. All right, thanks to everyone who joined. Uh, to anyone who's still here, man, thank you for joining. Uh, I had, I've had fun. I had fun with this game. I, I again, I really enjoy this game. This is my game, personal game of the year uh, up to this point. It's just my kind of game. It's perfect for me. It's like all the best things of Fallout that I like, minus some of the stuff I don't like. And before I go, uh, one of my uh, streamer friends is streaming right now, so let's let's raid the channel a bit. Not sure if anyone's still here, but hey. But yeah, I'll see everyone Tuesday night. And let me see if I can remember how to do this. I, for some reason, I always forget how to do this. And I'm also very bad at spelling. Uh, oh, hey, Enforcer. I didn't know you were here. Here we go. So, yep, see everyone later.